when it comes to goal line situations, we know a lot of you are uh, used to staying in your regular offense these days, but there are some that get in traditional uh, 23, 32 type personnel on the one yard line, two yard line, and uh, First Down Playbook has a section dedicated just for that. And as you can see, what we typically do is we'll draw up the play versus a 5-3 goal line and a 6-2 goal line because they can be uh, just different enough to where the defender that you leave unblocked is going to be critical in that situation. So uh, we're going to take a look today at, um, let's just look at just the basic isolation uh, to the weak side. We'll look at a 5-3 first and uh, just point out some of the things that we try to detail as we draw up a goal line play out of this personnel, 32 personnel. Now, once again, we've got coaching points for all of it below, but if you draw this up against a 5-3, the first thing that you're going to notice is that you've got a difficult situation over here right at the point of attack, meaning that typically in a 5-3, that end is going to be playing head up to really see gap responsibility on uh, that tight end or that extra tackle right there. So you're going to be forced almost to block out with that uh, tight end or tackle on the corner, but you're in good shape there. But now your extra tight end coming across has really got a tough block being inside out on a three-point player uh, that could be pinching or could be charging upfield. So it, it's not that it can't be blocked up. You get a great double team right here to the, back, to the middle backer. Your center should be in good shape to uh, cut the nose. Everybody on the back side should be in good shape. Obviously, you're going to have uh, free hitters to the ball, but the good thing is that that strong safety probably has the tight end in motion, and that uh, player will have to fit on the move. And then once again, depending on your quarterback's ability uh, to boot out, hold his backside corner, once again, you just have to do a little bit of film study to make sure that you're not going to have an issue there. But typically in a one-yard situation, you should be in good shape. Now, once again, probably not the best play to run against a 5-3. Let's go back and look and see really what the play is designed for is a 6-2. So you go to the isolation week versus a 6-2, you'll see a little bit of a different situation at the point of attack, which that's what it's designed for. So let's make it into the largest we can right here. So essentially now you've got that extra tight end coming across, really just protecting on a corner. You should be in good shape. And now you've got base blocks out of your extra tight end or extra tackle right here and your end. And now you've got a uh, good angle on a two technique or a gap player. And it's really one-on-one -on -one with this backer on this, excuse me, this fullback on this backer. Uh, everything on the back side is pretty much going to be the same. Uh, this corner it likely is going to be more of a contained player and uh, quite possibly have coverage on the tight end, the wide tight end right here. Same situation, strong safety will probably come over with your Z. Um, point of attack, uh, probably a much better situation in a 6-2 goal line than it would be versus a 5-3. Of course, it would be the same thing depending on which way you ran it. Now, so let's just go back one more time and take a look uh, at an overview because that's what we do for each one of our 32 personnel goal line. Rather, we've got a double ISO week. The ISO week we just looked at called Z ISO. And once again, we understand that a lot of you don't get in this anymore. But if you're in a situation where you've got extra tackles, uh, extra linemen, I should say, that can play, uh, 32 personnel is still a good idea for a goal line situation. 